Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 113 of the Dom Joseph podcast. Um, I just went and um, went and grabbed the sunglasses from downstairs, you know, put those on, you know, because the future's still bright for all of us, you know. Um, what else is going on? You know, I, um, I like to do the thing where you put something in the toaster and go do something so you don't got to think about the timer. But the thing about doing that, the thing about leaving something in the toaster is sometimes, you know, certain things, you know, cook for a certain amount of time. You know, toast takes a little bit longer than a brown sugar Pop-Tart does. So I went down there, you know, grabbed the, uh, grabbed the sunglasses, went to the car, kind of inhaled some air, you know, opened the door, walked up the stairs, and all of a sudden, you know, I come back and my Pop-Tart is somewhat burnt. But you know what? Um, I still am eating the pop tart, eating around the burnt parts. It's not like a marshmallow. Um, you gotta actually uh, probably not eat the burnt parts. You know what? With a marshmallow, with a burnt marshmallow, you could actually not, or you can get away with actually eating the burnt parts. As a kid, I used to make marshmallows for people because I, I was never really a dessert guy. You know, I would ask someone if they wanted their marshmallows toasted, and um, they'd always say, "Yeah," and I get it to that perfect brown for them. And, you know, there's a lot of shades of marshmallows that people liked, and I knew everybody's shades of brown that they liked on their marshmallow. So, um, but, you know, when I would have one, I would sometimes burn it because I was really impatient when it comes to my own food. But for other people, I guess I was more patient. I guess that maybe that's something I need to talk about, you know, therapy or whatever. But I would burn the marshmallow, and I would, like, pick off the burnt part and then kind of like inhale the the marshmallow goodness that was kind of my um my thing that I had going you know so fast forward to now I'm I just finished my pop tart and um you know other than that I think we're doing pretty pretty okay um but other than that let's get to the show what has been going on with me lately um I went for a hike this past weekend um, with my girlfriend that was kind of spontaneous, we should go up there. And I, I didn't really want to at the time being, and not because like, I didn't want to have fun, but it was just because it was, seemed kind of far and it was already like one o'clock, but I felt really good that we did. And I'm glad we went. So we went up, it was no, no problem. Um, pretty easy hike. Um, get up there. The falls were great. I had a great conversation, just, you know, had a good time. And then, you know, we were walking down and, um, Quinna prayed for some stuff and so did I as we saw the water and stuff you know to get all spiritual on you and um, her prayer was a little bit longer than mine you know but mine was still there mine was still intact it was still there Um, and we come down and see this raven this raven was huge man I would say the raven is about half the size of this table and you know when you see a crow and a raven, you know the difference. Like, that's a crow, that's a raven. This raven was perched up on a rock, and there's a rock, and then there's the walkway. And we stopped, looked at him, you know, and then, of course, we had some, I think we had this Indian couple behind us, and they... um they were kind of rushing, you know, they were trying to like get in front of us, but like, we're like, yo, let the Raven be kind of, we didn't say that, but kind of our actions kind of like, just let the bird be a bird, you know? And so the bird was just watching and it was like a big enough bird. Like if that thing bit you, you'd feel it. I don't know if a, a Raven has bitten anyone that is listening to this, but if they have, please send it in to, the podcast, what you could do is you could leave a voice, uh, voice message at 425-320-3641. Let me know if you've ever been bit by a raven before. But the raven, um, we got a little bit closer because we're like, we got to get going. It was like in a span of 20 seconds and he flies away or she and dang, the wings were flocking, dude. Like ravens like when they're flocking man like i heard the i almost felt that wind 
from under underneath it and it flew away and it was it was really powerful and we were walking and it was a good time and then these this couple passed us because we were going kind of slow on this um on this turn because quinn's knees we were she was trying to be careful as anyone should and we kept going and they passed us and we were like low-key pissed because you know when someone passes you on a trail on a hike it's like you take it personally even though you shouldn't so these people passed us and it took us about 10 minutes we caught up to them we jogged past them we wanted to be in front of them so bad we jogged and maybe that's uh, our competitive nature um but it, it definitely felt like they were like, oh, my God, they're going slow. So we're like, you know what? We're just going to jog past them, jog for a while, and then we don't have to worry about these guys, which we never did. Um, I can, I kind of saw they were tailing on us a little bit, and then we kind of sped up. And, and the thing is, me and her didn't vocalize that. We didn't say, like, yo, let's get in front of them. We just started doing it. And then as soon as we passed them, we started laughing because that's exactly what we wanted to do. Anyway, fast forward to the end of the end of the hike. It was great, you know. No service, you know. You get up, you get out of that hike. You get to the car, you turn your phone on because you still don't got service. You got to wait like twenty more minutes, and then you start getting service, and then you have no text messages. That's kind of like what going on a hike is like. Sometimes you go on a hike, have a great time. You get to your phone because your phone had no service up there. Get to a rest area, get some snacks and still no messages and that's just kind of sometimes how it goes um so we get down there um we go to this restaurant because you know after a hike you want a you want a good burger because you deserve it you know um so we go and get some chicken strips and a burger and this place gives her some chicken strips and fries because you know that's the combo to get and the chicken strips and fries you get three pieces Gave her a little popcorn chicken as one of the third tenders. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of like, keeps it cool dumb, you know, where I'm like, yeah, it's all right. You know, if you're still full, if you're not full, we'll go ask them about it. But if that's enough, then we're good. She ate it all. And she was probably like, why didn't you say anything? Which I kind of feel bad. But I also gave her a couple bites of mine. And then we were good. We also got like this good Italian soda on the way to the place, which is really good. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a great experience. I'm really glad that we got to do that together. Um, and then the next day, you know, this was an eventful weekend. May I add, I went to go play some basketball with my cousins and we played some basketball and, um, whatever, just shot around for a little bit and went to this teriyaki store after. And I guess the basketball part wasn't really important, but I had to tell you guys the, you know, flex I was playing basketball, I guess. Um, we get there and this teriyaki place was like, okay, where are you guys going to order here to go? And then we we're like, let's just, just say to go because you get more, you know, they put more in the styrofoam because if you get the plate, don't, they don't hook you up. So we said to go and then we were about to sit down and eat there, but then we changed our mind. But the guy, I think he heard that and we were like wrapping it. And we we're going back to the table. He's like, yo, 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 bring that b bag back here. What? Bring that bag back. And we we're like, dude, what do you mean? Like, he's like, oh, you guys going to eat here? And we we're like, no, we're not. We changed our mind. He's like, no, just give it. And I was like, man, we're out of here, bro. All of us dipped out. It was just a weird experience. You know, imagine being that upset about like an eight cents bag. I didn't really understand, you know, the whole flipping out for no reason eight cents i don't even know what you can really get for eight cents other than like a bag now um like a, maybe a handful of water in some countries you know could go for that maybe here you know but it's kind of included in your rent um anyways you know we've surpassed uh a certain amount of followers on tiktok so i just want to give a shout to you know everyone who follows us i say us as like there's more people involved when it's really just me um so um i just want to say thanks everyone to get me to that follower count i think it was four four thousand last time i checked it's probably like four thousand and three right now it's probably not much <laughs> much more different but um you know thank you guys just want to say thanks again 
uh, means a lot. Um, as for Instagram, you know, um, we're getting up there in followers, man. You know, we're almost maybe to 500. And the thing is, I think once you surpass maybe like, I don't know, how many followers we at now? Let's go see. The reason I have the accent and how why I'm talking like this is because it's clearly a joke. And if you guys really think I'm being serious right now, you are the problem, not me. So let's go check out Donald Just Podcast on Instagram. How many followers are we at? You know, once you get to 461 followers, you can wear your sunglasses on your pod. And that's just how it goes. You know, future is bright, man. Got to wear shades inside. I don't think I'm ever going to get to the shades inside fame. Hence why I'm wearing them now. Kind of getting it out of my system. And maybe, you know, one day I can wear them to like... Uh, Maybe basketball tournament, but even then, everyone's like, "Why are you wearing shades?" You know, there's really, there's no, you can never wear sunglasses inside unless you're like Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi gets away with it, you know. Kanye West gets away with it, but those guys are beefing right now, so you know that's not really. Whoa, that was bright. That future man. But anyway, also, I don't want to start with the but anyway. Like that gets, I feel like that's lazy. Um, in other news. I want to give a shout out to Burn the Wagon, man. Uh, I was actually on Burn the Wagon's podcast. I actually have his sticker. He sent me um, right here, and then I also have it hanging up behind me. Um, yeah, Burn the Wagon podcast was great, man. I got to go talk about some great stories and some funny things and some serious things that are going down in Native country. To, for me, you know, I am not an elder or really a person of high stature I don't know I don't know what I'm saying but um I was really honored with the the idea that I got to go and speak and talk about things on his podcast so again shout out to burn the wagon um if you guys want to go check out the full video go check it out I'll tag it and everything um yeah it was a really great podcast I see burn the wagon coming up on the rise with DJP you know um that was really cool to be a part of it's nice to go on to another podcast so if you guys want to go listen to me be a guest on a show, um, check it out at Burn the Wagon on Instagram and TikTok. Um, but next week, which will actually be recording this week, but you guys don't know, you know, when I record or you know all those details. But I will be having my cousin Corinne on the podcast, and if you guys are interested in checking that out, that will be releasing this upcoming Friday. And I will be actually having all the clips and everything ready. It actually might be done even before Friday. So if it comes out before Friday, uh, sneak peek. Yeet, yeet. Um, remember when people would say that? Yeet was like the thing. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in checking out uh, Corinne Parks on the podcast, be sure to give me a shout. Cuzzo's coming on. Got to have some great things to talk about, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's go check out the notes. What do we got going down? Um, oh yeah, I think I've talked about this in multiple, um, episodes cause I talk about a lot of things multiple times. I feel like, um, so think, go back in ancient civilization. Just think about, I don't know, the year a thousand, um, you know, there's some people who are really, you know, poor and, or not poor. Their civilization hasn't really seen certain technologies yet. And they then see somebody like travel by them on a bike. What do you think goes through their head? Do you think those people like think the bike is like an alien technology? Or do you think they're just like, yo, how did they get that? Just think though, because like, I feel like if I would have seen somebody on like a horse and carriage and I'm like never seen that before, I'd be like, yo, these guys are like from another planet. So what I'm getting at is, is do you think like in the Egyptian times and the hieroglyphics, when they were talking about aliens and higher powers, do you think possibly they were talking about other civilizations that were more advanced than them? I believe in aliens. I, I've, I've said this many times. But I also believe in maybe 
Egyptians saw another civilization that was way more advanced and gave them the tools to succeed. Or they conquered them, got that, and then depicted it. But I don't know. It's all It all says like stuff in the sky and UFOs and stuff. I feel like we want the UFOs to be real, but sometimes it's kind of hard to think, think about. You know, mankind made Wi-Fi from what we had on Earth. Isn't that kind of crazy to think? Like really surface level, like, yeah, your iPhone and stuff was built throughout like the things we had on Earth to get to that. Like the diamonds, the the glass, the all that was like, it's insane. And if you really think about it, like wood, like, yeah, that's from a tree. That's not as like intricate, but no, I guess that's the wood's intricate too. You know, I think we're about 10. I think we've said, you know, about 10 times now. I've been drinking Italian sodas with no cream. My favorite drink of choice at um, coffee stands, Italian soda, no whip. Oh, Italian grape soda, no whip. That's like the order when I pull up. You know, nobody really remembers mine because it's like I don't really go to one consistently, but that's my order. And I know a lot of orders, you know, at the espresso stands are very intricate. People like to really describe on what they want, and it needs to be done a certain way. And these espresso stand owners, man, these espresso stand baristas, they be going through it. You know, they got to memorize all these, and if they don't, they don't get the tip. And not enough, I mean, you don't go to your doctor... Okay, I'm not going to sit here and compare baristas to doctors. That's just not right for either of their sake. Um, But I just feel like not a lot of jobs you're expected to like memorize. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's the restaurant business. I've never really been a part of the restaurant business. Some people have. Some people, that's like their likelihood. Livelihood. Oh, man. So there used to be a tribal gas station on my res that had gas it used to have like gas pumps there's two stores on the res and one of them used to have gas like i just said i said it just had it twice and when people drive by people usually go to one of the stores on the res because it's like the one to go to it has hot food it has other things there than the other one doesn't and you know, every time I drive by the store in Tulela, you know, the one that used to have gas, it's like, you know, that used to have gas, right? You know, if they just brought back the gas, it would make a killing. Every time I drive by that damn gas station or it comes up, you know, they used to have gas. If they would put those gas pumps back in with these gas prices, it'd make a killing. All the gas, all the tribal members that are coming in and out of here, they would stop there for all the tourneys, the ceremonies. But I don't know why they don't have the gas pumps. That is the number one thing I always hear every time. I just don't, I mean, you know, you know, they used to have gas. Yeah, I know they used to have gas. They don't have it no more. They basically made no money. How? It's weird, man. It was a, it's like a sad joint now without the gas there. You know, those stores on the res, they, they're different. You know, everybody stops and gets the hot dogs and the buns and the, and the hot food and the pop, and you, you don't have to make dinner. And that's pretty, that's, you know, pretty nice about those places. You know, you can get a burrito and, you know, Mountain Dew and you're good. Maybe a pepperoni stick. Um, I used to really like getting, you know, I'm just going to say the brand because I really want them to sponsor the podcast, Obertos. I used to really like Obertos. I still do. But, um, other than that, I, I mean, I think my go-to snacks at the store on the res were like two burritos, pepperoni stick, and a Gatorade, man. You know, what's your what's your go-to uh, what's your go-to res store? Or I I don't know. I I should say store on the res. I shouldn't say res store because a lot of people oh, not res store. It's a store on the res. When you go to the store on the res, what is your go-to items of choice? Mine is two burritos, a Gatorade, a pepperoni stick. What is yours? You can comment below or you could uh, leave a voicemail at 425-320-3641. That is a DJP hotline. 
please let me know what your go-to choice or your go-to item of choice is at the rest stores. Some people have a different, you know, I know, I know a person, um, I don't want to say his name on the pod yet because he's about to be a guest here soon. Um, he would get a hot pocket and a chocolate milk. That was his go-to. And Hey, you know, that's sometimes, and I know some people get Laffy Taffy's and Reese's and water. Uh, you always got the people who want the water to kind of one up you low key. I feel like the people who get water at gas stations are low key trying to one up you. That's just how I feel sometimes. Um, what else we got going on? Man, there the NBA playoffs are on. You know, I've been cheering for the NBA playoffs. I um, drew some teams out of a hat. You know, did some gambling with my cousins and friends, and all the teams I picked out of the hat are out. I picked the Pelicans, the Heat, or no, the Pelicans, the Hawks, the Chicago Bulls, and the Jazz. And guess what? They're all out the first round. Yes. Yes, I love that. I love having uh, no teams left to cheer for. Um, so the only way I could go cheer for them in that same way is to maybe go put a 20 on them at the casino. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe go try a 20. What is going on in the news? Let's go check out the news to close it out today. Not really much else going on in the world. News. Oh, yeah. Um, Elon Musk about Twitter. You guys haven't heard about that. That's kind of like another billionaire buying more things. What's new? Um, how about we look at native country? No, I want to look at just news in general. I'm just going to put up news. Google News. I don't know what side of the political spectrum you're on, but um, these are all lame. I don't want to talk politics on here. All politics. Wow. I guess I talked about sports, and that's one of those things that you, I guess you're not supposed to talk about, even though it's kind of lame. Not sports. Um, oh, yeah. Lottery. Who won the recent lottery? That's something we can all relate to because we're never going to win. Um, who won the latest lottery? Oh, the, the most recent person won the lottery in Arizona. Wow. $200 million. $200 million in lottery, man. You know, I used to know somebody who would buy a lottery ticket every day, just in case. And, you know, if it hits, you do the math, you you technically would go over. But if you never win, which a very well possibility is, um, you would lose money. I guess you, would, you can lose money on a lot of things, too. But if the lottery was phrased like a differently, like if you had to pick one number out of like six billion, you would be like, I don't want to get that. But since they say choose your numbers, it's like, oh, I could win this. You know, that's the power of of wording. You know, you you say something like choose any number to win a billion. People are going to do it. You say choose a number one out of a billion. People are going to be like, no, I'm not winning, you know. It's the power of mar- it's the power of words, man. Marketing, branding, or whatever. There's some studies that go into it. I think you know there's more to it than just uh, going out to golf and doing all that kind of stuff. But anyways, I'm not gonna sit here and drag us on a little bit more. Today was kind of a short episode, you know, trying to get the episodes down to 30 minutes for solos, just so we get the best of the cream of the crop here. Um, my next episode will actually have my cousin on. It will go longer. My guest episodes, I go as long as they go. You know, um, super excited. Um, things are going good. I hope things are going okay in your um, realm of the woods, neck of the woods, res of the woods. Um, you know, go adopt uh, a new habit, a good one. You know, maybe try to walk a little more, drink a little bit more water. But other than that, we're doing good here. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. And the next time you guys will see me will be with my cousin, on there on on her episode so be free to check that out and other than that i'll see you guys later